Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of VSPN. Guess what? There's only 15 days left until Christmas. One, five, 15. I hope you're all super excited. Are you excited for Christmas? I am really excited for He's Christmas. super excited for Christmas. I know everybody wants some good presents. Now that's out of the way, let's get started. Our next driver's ed session is almost here. Our winter session sign-ups deadline is Wednesday, the 15th of December at 1 p.m. Make sure to turn in your sign-up forms for our third session at the main front office. Remember, the bottom half is of the slip is needed. Good luck to our new drivers, and make sure to be safe, especially if you're not expecting drivers on the snow. Yeah, make sure you're careful. We don't want any of you guys crashing and passing away. Next week, December 13th through the 17th, is Winter Spirit Week. Each day has its own theme. Monday, December 13th, is Merry Monday, so wear Christmas color, hats, rein reindeer antlers, and other items in that theme. Tuesday, December 14th, is win Winter Wonderland, white. So wear colors or clothing that represent a winter's night, like snow. You see snow, you see white, come to the school, you're going to see white. Wednesday, December 15th, is flannel and fuzzy socks. Thursday, December 16th, is ugly Christmas sweater. Wear your ugliest sweater. Find it in your closet and bring it to school. I want to see who has the ugliest sweater. And Friday, December 17th, is the night before Christmas. Dress comfortable, PJs. Make sure they're school appropriate, guys. Come on. Our boys beat Rocky Mountain earlier this week. Great job, guys. Boys basketball is facing off against Preston High School today from 4.30 p.m. to 9 p.m. at the high school. But Frosh and sophomores face off at 4.30, the JV game at 6, and the varsity at 7.30. Make sure to be there and go in your most festive apparel. Let's go Falcons. Let's go Falcons! Caw -caw -caw. Our, ladies Fal Our Lady Falcon basketball team had a game Tuesday, December 7th against Caldwell. And man, it was a crazy night. The JV and Frosh team fought hard, and Frosh ended up winning, but JV ended up losing. The varsity started off slow, being tied 10 to 10 in the first quarter, but came out strong in the second, ending the half up 20 to 15. Coming out of halftime, they were firing out on all cylinders. They ended the third quarter up 36 to 23. Our Falcons finished off the fourth quarter strong, winning 52 to 39. Alondra Osuna had 15 points and Daisha Keister had 14. On Thursday, December 9th, the girls also had a game against a school that shall not be named. The Frost started off slow but fought hard in the second half. Their, sh their strong half just wasn't enough and they lost 10 to 16. JV also had a similar game. They started off slow in the first half but made sure to keep it close. They made a huge run in the second half, but lost to a game-winning free throw with the final score being 20 to 21. The varsity game came out to a close one too. They came out of the strong they came out with a strong first quarter up 12 to 8. The second quarter we kept up the fast-paced scoring and we were up 23 to 22 going into half. Coming out of the half, we came out scoring 13 points, but it wasn't enough to keep up with the no-named school's 16. They were up in the third quarter, 38 to 36. The game was still in reach, and the Lady Falcons weren't ready to give up. They fought hard in the final quarter, scoring 13 points. They couldn't get their last few shots to fall, and lost a heartbreaking game, 49 to 53, with Cody Childs having 12 points and Zeta Ambriz having nine points. Way to keep fighting, ladies, and keep up the hard work. Listen up, wrestlers. You're gonna need to hear this. Your Falcon wrestling team has a dual meet next Wednesday, the 5th from the 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m., and it's being held here at the Nest. That's on the 15th, ladies and gentlemen, that wrestling meet. Anyways, enough for the school time. Now, <laughs> that does not make sense. Anyways, enough about the school, period. Time for some facts and local or national news. We all totally love the news. Yeah, we... <laughs> We love the news, don't yes. we? <laughs> um, remember to stay positive about the news because we all love the news. Christmas break is in two weeks, and hopefully it comes quick. We love Christmas break. Yep. Now it is time for our Falcon fact. Did you know, stay with me, guys, that the sentence sixth 
sixth sick sheik's sixth sheep's sick is believed to be the toughest tongue twister in the English language. Let's try to say it five times fast. Sixth six sheik's sixth ships. Si I give up. Okay, let's move on. <laughs> Today's news will be about kindergartners' enrollment rebounding. Since last year's pandemic, hundreds of kindergartners stayed home. The data of the year later is that kindergartners have been a no-show and remote slash hybrid learning have has education scrambling for answers and solutions. Among elementary principals, I am on elementary Ammon. principal said, we're still wrapping our heads around it. They reached just 31% and around 20% to oh, 20 percent points below the state average. The school decided to do individual learning so that that can meet their needs this their needs. year. Jenny Smith said, we are seeing a range of impact from the pandemic of many of our kindergarten learners. And about 867 students have increased. That's amazing how that score increased. That rough year, school year ha was not just for kindergartners, but for all of us. Yeah, that was a pretty, pretty rough year for all of us. Indian Creek Plaza and Destination Cold Bowl are holding a skate ribbon coalition for the third year. This is a youth ice skating program. Children in Caldwell, Canyon County, and Owyhee County areas that are between the ages of 12 and 16 are eligible for participation. Get applications in as soon as possible because there are limited spots. The SCAT program, the, the SCAT, the skate programs will be held five consecutive Saturday mornings. The program goes from January 8th, 2022 through February 5th, 2022. Students will automatically be divided into two sessions. The first will be from 9 to 10.30 a.m., and the second session will be from 11 to 12.30. If one of those sessions does not work for your student, you can email events, what? You can email events at indiancreekplaza.com. During each session, every participant will receive an ice skating lesson, a snack, and a warm drink. Children who complete at least three sessions and come to the final party will receive a certificate of completion and a free skate pass for future use. This program is free to those who demonstrate financial need. Otherwise, a payment of $75 is needed to, or is required to complete enrollment. Participants will be notified of acceptance and scholarship status by the email, or by email no later than the week of January 3rd, 2022. Sadly, that's all we got for you guys today. Hope you had a wonderful day today. Avoid the cold from your getting into your stockings. Be and good. be good. Be good. And, and remember, remember, no PDA. PDA.